Nigga, you're trash. Fuck you talking about stupid fucking nigga, stupid white bits. Dude, funny guy. Nigga, you missed all your songs, bro. You let the center drop voice on your head. Alright, you're probably wondering how I got myself in this situation. Well, it all started when I put out a looking for group post, something you can do on Xbox when you have no one to run with on 2K. You can put a description of what kind of players you're looking for, and these are the two guys that responded. As you can tell, it got a little heated, but how did it get to this point? Well, the story starts in this first game. But first, if you haven't already, hit that like button if you want NBA 2K21 to be a great game. Also, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications. We are on the road to 6K subs by NBA 2K21. You won't regret it. Now let's get into the gameplay. Alright, so we're going to have to do some post com in this video because you know how it is when you meet new people. You know how no one wants to talk because no one knows each other. We can't really be vibing in the party. Plus, I can't get in the YouTube mode with two people I don't know. They don't know that I'm a YouTuber. I'm just a random 5.6k subs. Subscribe if you're new, by the way. But you see I'm running with a 3 level score and a shooting glass slot. Perfect for ISO. Two shooters. It should be easy. Plus, they're running a sharp facilitator, a 2-way pass first point, and a paint beast. That I am almost certain is not a shooting paint beast. So this should be easy clamps. This would be easy clamps with people that I actually know and have defensive chemistry with. But these two, who the hell knows? First defensive possession, we showed a lock moment nation defense as both my teammates jump and allow an easy dunk from the paint beast. So I'm gonna come back with a half spin, snatch back, catch his ankles, and I'm just playing with him in the backcourt. Hezzy between the legs, get around him, hop step, don't get baited for the left hand like J-Man. Peep the effort on defense from my center. I'm going to get big body. He takes a nice little jab to the free throw line and watches my man green the three. Don't you just love playing with centers like that? It's all good. He's about to make up for it right here. I easily get around the two-way that they put on me. And I kick out to him. And for some reason, they're going to try and switch right here. But I'm going to find him before they can switch back. He gets the easy green. High IQ J in the chat. So the guard is going to throw a nice little Stevie to my three-level score. I'm leaking out. But a bad catch, so I'm no longer open. But the guard's guarding nobody, so I'm assuming the center's open, and he is. No, nope. he's gonna break the shot, and I couldn't get the board because that guy is just too big, and I have no vertical in this play shot. And I'm gonna commit the reach and foul out of frustration. So the center's gonna make a mistake again. Our guard is gonna get stuck on the center, and the center doesn't pick up the two guard who gets the easy three. It was a white and a leaner, he shouldn't have made it. But still, wide open, you can't give him a wide open look. But I'm going to get the easy rim run, right hand like J-Man. Just keeping us in the game, because I have faith that we're going to get a stop. Wait, did I say a stop? What's a stop? We don't know what a stop is. But neither do they, because they can't stop me. Get the speed boost right hand like J-Man. I have a regretful announcement to make. I'm changing my name to lock him up G-Man. Why? Because look at the kill. Look at the curry wide open full white and I brick. That would have gave us the lead. I don't have to land transition. So I'm going to give it to the three level score on my team. And he's going to swing it. I'm going to get in the triple threat. And I'm going to really give him the boy on the drive. Wide open for three oh, and I oh, green oh. the shot. Green making up for that last miss. And now we have the lead. So, some more miscommunication comes up right here. I see the shooter wrong up top, so I'm going to go up for him, because I thought he was going to go up to the top of the key. So, he got open for the step back. I should have stayed with him, but then the other guy would have been open. You know what I mean? So, at this point, I'm going to lose the ball for no reason, and as a result, they're going to get an easy dunk and transition. It should have been a chase down block, but RNG gave them the ball, and they got the lead back. So it occurred to the center that he needs to set me screens for reasons unknown. But, remember that pull up white 3 they hit earlier? Well, it's time for some payback. Shot clock's winding down. Center swings it to me. Pull up white. Bang! Give us the lead back. I don't know what Miami Heat is thinking here, but he's not Tyler Hero. He's going to take a contested ass shot for the air ball. Center gets the rebound. And we're out in transition. I get the ball. And I'm going to sneak in for the layup. There's no way they were expecting me to do that. You can tell that really caught them off guard. On this play, a shot clock's winding down. They're going to hoop for the center to bail him out with a hop step, but it's defended perfectly. Smother contest. They get the rebound, 
And this is where 2K said, I want lock him up, Jamie, and they'll lose. Got the open lane, top step, body block, and they're gonna get the ball as the center dives for it. I mean, I know I hopped right into him, but yeah, he's gonna green the three and tie the game, but it was a lucky jump. He didn't know I was gonna hop into him. Just straight RNG for them. Luckily, I'm gonna respond by getting around Miami Heat and hop stepping around the center for the dunk. You gotta admit. Even if you don't like hop steps, that was clean. We're up two. All we have to do is not give up the three. Yet, our three level felt the need to gamble, and we got burned. They're up one. Miami, after taking that smother three, he's come up really clutch. I'm going to drive in and get the dunk to put us up by one, because I just believe we'll get a stop. All we got to do is now out threes. If we just score straight twos, games go up to 25. We win the game. It's as simple as that. But unfortunately, our three level gets stuck and allows the three again. We allowed five threes. I know there were a couple plays that I sold, but 18 points, 8 for 10. You know, if we just would have played better defense and not allowed threes, then we probably would have won the game. <gasps> you want to know what's sad? I cut off the recording right when we lost. As soon as you saw... Where I insert that TV static effect, that is where I stopped recording. After that, the center apparently was invited to our party. It was talking reckless. And I was wondering how he got in the party. I didn't invite him. But it turns out, our center invited him. And he said that he fried him. So, the center that is on my team is a booter, bro. That's sad. But... 18 points, 8 for 10 shooting and still losing, that's even sadder. You would think I would have dropped those guys right after, block them both, report them, you know, what I usually do. But I had faith that we could get some chemistry, and it looked like it would be smooth sailing after that first loss. We beat up a couple random teams, and it looked like it was going to come together. But then, the last game happened. So it started with this heavily contested shot, our center gets the board, and he throws a turn. It was, it was kind of unlucky, you know, he was right there, he greens the shot, whatever. So just like last game, I'm going to respond with a nice little rim run, keep us in the game, hopefully we can get some stops unlike the first game. So this is where problems really begin. Yeah, he forces the miss layup, but he gives up the offensive board, we gotta play more defense, and so far we're playing good defense. He's gonna swing it to pink, and he's gonna brick wide open, but we give up another offensive rebound. The center's not pulling his weight, and the stretch big hits the three. This kid is pressing, really pressing. So I rim run, hop step, I don't get baited, and one. You ready for this? Center sits paint, green like his jersey. Now get ready for this. Can you guard your man, bro? Like, what's to you, dog? <laughs> oh, damn, nigga. Letting the setter drop 20 points in your fucking head. You cannot get a board, bro. That's crazy. He's in a 92. I'm there, I'm there. What the fuck is. I'm there. You're fucking there, you stupid. Nigga, you're trash. Fuck you talking about stupid monkey, nigga. Stupid white bitch. Dude, funny guy. Nigga, you missed all your shots, know. bro. You let the center drop points in on your head. Shut the fuck up. Bum ass, nigga. Nice break. Shut up, nigga. Trash. Got a 70 win percentage, bro. Oh, no, Letting the center drop 14 percent. points on your head, bro. Shut up, nigga. I've never seen wow. this in my life, bro. Center drop 14 points on the center. Bomb ass little nigga. Yeah, even your girl telling you to shut up, bro. That's sad. Nigga, she talking to you. She not talking to me, boy. 
Yeah, black lives don't matter for a reason. Oof, uh, she said black lives don't matter, nigga. I'm not black. <laughs> I'm <bad. laughs> yeah. Good job. 14 points on your dome, bro. I'm asleep. Bum ass. Nigga, nigga. Just shot, bro. That's crazy. Just shot, bro. You can't hit a shot. White, nigga. You 50. <laughs> Says the guy Stop playing this game, bro. Stop Should playing this game. This game, this game not crazy. for you, bro. This game you not ain't for playing you. all night, bro. I'm hitting you all for the rest of the night. You say you hitting me off for the rest of the night, nigga. I got a VPN, nigga. Hit me off. Oh, you got a VPN. That, that's gonna stop. Bro, me. guard your man, bro. Damn, fucking Fine, yo.